So, did you really think I was done talking about My Hero Academia? I mean, yeah, I took a little bit of a break for the 12 days and some other videos and all that, but I could not just leave this series incomplete. So, we are getting back to it today and talking about one of the most interesting things about it, the quirks. When you think about a superhero, oftentimes the first thing you think of is the power. Like Superman has strength and flight. Batman has all of his gadgets. Deadpool has sarcasm. At least I think that is his superpower. I haven't actually watched that movie. So it makes sense that with My Hero Academia, the first thing that you would notice about the characters is the powers, which the show is able to use to draw the viewer in. A lot of the powers are cool, in some cases, literally. A lot of the characters are introduced with just seeing them use their quirk, which makes us want to learn more about the people behind the quirk. And while it may seem like a shallow way to introduce a character, it works because this is complemented with the exploration that they get later on. The quirks are also one of the reasons that the battles are so great. The quirks are well defined in what they can do, and they are normally pretty simple and easy to understand. For example, one crawl grants super strength, Bakugo can explode things, and so on. But the battles are rarely a clash between which quirk is more powerful, but instead how they can be used in a given situation. Deku demonstrates this the best considering the backlash of using his quirk, so he has to find a unique way for him to be able to win the fight. He is able to focus the power in his fingers, allowing him to use a very powerful ranged attack without a ton of damage to his body. There's also Todoroki's explosion with a combination of his ice and fire powers. I also like how the characters have figured out different ways to use their quirks, like Bakugo using his explosions for air mobility or Endeavor for walking up walls. The show doesn't highlight this much, which makes sense because it is kind of mundane for the characters considering they have had these quirks their whole life and have figured out the ways to use them in these unique ways. There's also a lot of potential for unique combinations of powers when different heroes team up, which the show is able to utilize, especially during the cavalry battle and then later on with the exams. I also like how a lot of the quirks have some kind of limit to them, forcing the characters to figure out the best way to fight. Or if not a limit on their normal usage, they have some sort of ultimate attack that renders them powerless for a while, like Ida in his overdrive, or again, Deku using one for all at full power. There is always a question of if a character should go all out, or if there is another way they can win without the cost to himself. But the main reason I find the quirks here so fascinating is what they represent. Naming the powers quirk, I do not believe was an arbitrary choice, but it was an intentional choice to connect the story of the anime with that of the real world. Looking at the English definition of quirk, it is a peculiar behavior or trait, or literally translating the Japanese word, you have individuality. This ties back into the idea of being a hero, because in the show the characters are able to use their quirks to be heroes, but this also applies to reality and how people can use the quirks about them to make a difference in the world. To borrow some teachings from my pastor, everyone has their own personality, abilities, and problems in the world that they feel passionate about addressing. Or, in other words, everyone has their own quirk that they can use to make the world a better place. Another aspect I like about Boku no Hero is that the quirks are not balanced. While a lot of the fights do come down to tactics, there are times when there is such a discrepancy in power that no amount of tactics could change the outcome. The battle between Todoroki and Sero being a prime example here. People are born with different amounts of power, either through their natural ability, health conditions, family, and so on. And this is true for both the anime and reality. But then the show takes this a step further and raises the question of what you are going to do about this. This is highlighted during the battle with Deku and Shinso, which is notable because of how similar the characters' backstories are. Deku was born without a quirk and told that he could not be a hero. Well, Shinso was born with a quirk that did not fit being a hero. Shinso constantly told Deku that he was a fortunate one because of the quirk that he was given, but Shinso does not know about the history of Deku's power. It is easy to look at someone and think you know everything about them from a single glance, that they were just lucky or just born with talent, not that they put tons of hours or even years into polishing that talent. The great irony in the battle is that Shinso was the one born lucky, since he was the one born with a quirk that could let him do great things. And while it may be true that there was luck involved with Deku receiving Wong for All, it wasn't just something he was given, but something he earned. He proved himself to All Might with his courage and dedication to save a friend. He trained for months to get his body close to being able to handle Wong for All before he received any power from it. He studied heroes all his life and has translated that into the ability to fight. 
and the key to the show's message is how Deku wins the fight. He is able to use his quirk to break out of Shinso's quirk, yes, but then the fight becomes a physical fight without quirks, which Deku wins. He wins the fight because of all the training he did. One of the teachers makes a comment that Deku outperformed Shinso in a physical test at the start of the school year, showing how all the hard work Deku put in is the reason that Deku is stronger. The world is unfair, but as I said before, the show asks the question of what you are going to do about it. Everyone has good and bad things that happen to them beyond their control. And you could even say that Deku was one of the most unlucky ones in the world because he was born without a quirk. And then you could say he was unlucky again because he was nearly killed by the slime monster. But it is because both of these things happened to him that he was in a position where he could impress All Might enough to get the quirk and then start his journey to become the world's greatest hero. In the very first episode, Deku explains that the world is not fair, but instead of lamenting about this and wallowing in his misfortune, he instead strives to work harder, to overcome his misfortune and become the hero he dreams to be. And it is because of his never ending desire to be a hero that he is able to prove to All Might that he deserves to inherit Wong for All. And again, you could say he is lucky for getting Wong for All and there would be some truth to that. But it was Deku's courage and desire to save people that gave him this opportunity and his many months of training made it possible for him to accept the quirk. There's a certain resentment of those at the top to say that the only reason they are successful is that they had more luck. And while luck may be a part of it, I love the quote about luck that states that luck is where opportunity meets preparation. For many people, their success is derived from the opportunities they were able to capitalize on. We all have different quirks, different fortunes and misfortunes, but as the show illustrates, this is only the beginning of who we are. The show starts its character introductions, often with showing the quirk, but this is only a small piece of who they are. The characters in My Hero Academia are not remembered for their powers they were given at birth, but instead what they choose to do with that power. And this leads to what I believe the show is truly asking with its themes surrounding the quirks. What are you going to do with your own quirk, and how are you going to use them to become a hero?